could you? I have been shamed, abashed, chagrined, and quite possibly maimed emotionally by one known as Tyler Apocalypto underscore 12 shied. If you've been listening to the number one sports podcast, Go My Favorite Sports Team, on your local podcast website, you would have heard the very specific JQs targeted towards Tyler's height. And if you don't know, how dare you, you should be listening a little more thoroughly to the best sports podcast on the planet. Seriously? On the GMFST subreddit, I posted 10 quick facts about Tyler Scheid, all of which are 100% correct and irrefutable as the internet never lies. I verified them myself. In these 10 quick facts, it is listed that Tyler is 5 feet 6 inches tall. After which I posted this exact same list of facts on the Distractigo Discord, however, I put them in the wrong place. Due to my lack of reading ability and general absent-mindedness, I put them in the wrong section. I put them in the distractible section. That's not where they're supposed to go. And for which I was appropriately shamed for it. It's my fault. I accept full responsibility for my misdeed and my mistake. However, this is not the crux of the problem today. The crux is that Tyler shamed me for apologizing. You see, I messaged Tyler on the down low with a carrier pigeon the next day. All I said is, can you please keep this a secret? Because I don't want this getting out. It might hurt my emotional stability and general well-being, as well as my social status that is non-existent. He later returned my message with a different pigeon. Wonder what happened to my last one that I sent. And he said, sure, I'll keep it a secret for you. No need to worry. I understand. A week later, to my dismay, I was listening to the GMFST podcast on Spotify, Injuries in Sports, and I hear something very unexpected. Also, this person, uh, somebody shared this in the wrong part of the Discord server, and I had to shame them. Mm. I had to be like, this doesn't belong here. And then they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm like, why are you shaming people in the Discord? <laughs> but he shamed me for apologizing. He made fun of me mocked me. No. If you don't know, I am Canadian. I reside in the wonderful country known as the Canadia, and we are well known for being super polite and apologetic for everything. I did my duty as a Canadian, and I apologize for placing my 10 facts in the wrong place. I owned up to my mistake. I was originally going to let this slide like, no biggie. But he broke his promise, and he attacked my heritage. That was crossing the line. How could you, Tyler? I trusted you. I looked up to you. Literally, you are taller than me. If we are to falsify the facts that are obviously true, you were taller than me. I was so deeply saddened by this, I almost had to go to therapy at BetterHelp, the easy, online, and affordable therapy option. Just before I applied to BetterHelp's easy and online therapy, I heard something else that caught my ear. But it was not Tyler who said it. It was, in fact, Mark. Who wrote this article? Where did you find these 10 facts? Because they're the, false. The Caleb Dawkins said they just have a screenshot here, so I don't know what the source is, but uh, you're married and you're five foot six. Markiplier Edward Fishbach said my name wrong. He mispronounced my last name. It's pronounced Dakin. I assumed you'd be better than everyone else. How could you, Mark? I idolized you. You were one of my favorites, if not the favorite. I don't like picking favorites because then you just kind of like one is better than the other. So I have multiple favorites. You were one of the favorites. I've been watching your content for years. I have been a proud supporter of you and your content for over a decade. But this is how you repay me? By not even attempting to pronounce my last name correct? Sure, if it was my first name, be like, okay, why not? But your last name, that is just disrespectful. I bought your clothing. I bought so much cloak brand. Just take a look, I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing cloak brand, including your quilted cardigan from cloakbrand.com. I have so much cloak brand, like a ridiculous amount. 
like an exorbitant amount of cloak brand that which you can get at cloakbrand.com go buy it it's good quality send me more please please sponsor me not only did i buy your clothes but i helped fund your show in space with markiplier in your time of need when you were over budget i was there it was really good though that's not the problem here but i'm just stating that i sacrificed a lot for you so it's just I also paid for your OnlyFans. I should not be proud of that. I'm not proud of that one. It was for charity, so... All can be forgiven? I don't know. I even modeled my editing style after your editor, Lixian. Isn't that right, Lixian? You can tell how my editing style is very similar to yours, right? It's really good. It's pretty close. You do like it, right? That makes us friends. Right? Now, we're, that makes us friends? We're best friends now. He loves my stuff. So, have you disrespected my last name? Normally, that wouldn't be a big problem. But the last name is the most important part of someone's name. It's the, your entire family. It's your family line. Your family legacy. And you shamed it. My proud last name from Scotland. It's just so sad. I don't know if I can ever forgive you. I don't know if I can keep supporting your content after this, Mark and Tyler. Especially not distract. Especially not go my favorite sports team. I might just have to start listening to somebody else. Maybe I'll just watch that Irish guy. Sean Putrefactive. I, I think that's what it is. I don't know. I heard he's similar to you, so maybe I'll just go watch him instead.